Well, it's June 10th. It's the middle of the week already. Oh, that means it's Wednesday. Yes, it Up is. Day. Okay. <laughs> It's Wednesday. It's June 10th, 2015. My name is Wayne Alley. I hope you're doing well. I'm Kim Best. Thank you so much for joining us. Happy Wednesday, middle of the week. Oh, boy, that means we only have a couple of days after today to get to the weekend. That's and exactly right. That will be fine. Yes, will it be will. That's fine. <laughs> All right. Let's see. You got anything special for today? Well, I wanted to mention that at the end of this month, June 30th, uh, there will be a program at, at Wayne Memorial Hospital. It's part of their Live Well series mm -hmm. of programs. And this is about stroke. You know, May, uh, we observed uh, Stroke Month. Right. Stroke Awareness Month during May. And a lot of people are at risk and don't even know it. Absolutely. They don't even know it. And when you have a stroke, there's certain signs that you need to be aware of. Uh, this program will be on June 30th from 6 until 7 p.m. in the cafeteria at Wayne Memorial Hospital, which is on the ground floor, That's which right. is one of the finest places in mm -hmm. town to eat. Nobody knows about that. but. It really is. They have a wonderful meal there. Um, and this is where uh, Dr. Victoria Samuels uh, will be speaking uh, for, uh, at a, a, free, a free stroke education seminar sponsored by Wayne Memorial Hospital. You'll learn about stroke prevention, the warning signs, life after a stroke, and a whole lot more. Admission is absolutely free. It doesn't cost anything. Uh, space is limited, however, and advanced registration is requested. You can call Wayne Memorial Hospital and register for the seminar by calling 919-731-6299, 731-6299, and if, uh, if you get a voice message, then they'll call you right back. That's, that's Georgia's Tuesday, number. Tuesday, June 30th. Tuesday, June 30th, yes, thank you. Tuesday, June 30th, you can call Perfect. ahead of time and register and let them know that you want to, to attend this very important meeting, seminar. Well, on that very same night, oh? you have an option of attending something at the Paramount Theater. It's called Ooh. Celebrate the Red, White, and Blue with the North Carolina Symphony. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, exactly. The concert is free. That is a big wow. one. It is free. And it is open to the public. Call 919-583-8432 to reserve your tickets. Okay. It says, beat the summer heat and join us for good old-fashioned salute to red, white, and blue. Celebrate the USA on its birthday with patriotic favorites and high-spirited classics, including Roots, the Battle Cry of Freedom, plus sections of the Civil War era, selections from the Civil War era. North Carolina Symphony conductor David Glover will be there, and it'll be na uh, narrated... Really? Narrated by Scott McLeod, Mc, I guess that's McLeod. McLeod, yes. Mm -hmm. The concert is made pa possible by the Borden Fund, R.A. Bryan Foundation, and Southern Bake Foundation. All of Tuesday, June 30th, free, 8 o'clock p.m., Paramount Theater. So David Glover's going to be there himself. Yes, the he North is. The North Carolina Symphony, wow, is all I can say. That's, that's exactly that. right. It, and I heard them at Christmas. I always do. I always oh, go to their holiday pops, and it is beautiful. They are great. But I'm, patriotic songs, anyway, can make most of us just have chill bumps. And can you imagine an entire night right before the July 4th celebration, and you are hearing a complete evening I know. free I get chill bumps. at the Paramount Theater? I do. Of the, of the North Carolina Symphony, the North and Carolina these Symphony. people are wonderful. Oh my goodness, yes. They're extremely talented. Yes, and they what's are. the admission again? How much is it to get into this? F-R-E-E. Free. Oh, free. <laughs> free. Wow. Yes. Wow. All right, well, it just so happens that I have a little bit of information about our Independence Day. Oh, you do? A misconception about our Independence Day. The myth is, and this is a big one. Okay. Most people believe that our Independence Day was actually declared on July 4th. It was not declared on July 4th. As I recall, it was, it was and I was there. It was declared <laughs> on July 2nd. Uh, because the Declaration of Independence is dated July 4th, people associate the date with the American independence. In fact, independence was declared first and then was confirmed with the document a few days later. The truth is that the Continental Congress declared independence on July 2nd. One of the founding fathers, Mr. John Adams himself, is quoted mm -hmm. as having written his wife. She, he wrote her and said on July 3rd, he said, the second day of July, 1776, will be the most memorable in the history of America. I am apt to believe it will be celebrated by succeeding generations as wow. the great anniversary festival. Well, he missed it by a couple of days. Actually, the first Independence Day celebration by the Continental Congress was actually on July 8th. Hmm. 
And on the 4th of July, only two people signed it, and the rest of them signed in like August and a couple of years oh, wow. later. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, just How about might that? find that interesting. That's right. Well, let's go to our interviews. Good morning and welcome to the Streetscape Update. I'm Kim Best, your host. Joining me today, I have Mark Beach. He's the project manager for TA Loving Construction Company. Also have Julie Metz, who is the director of downtown Goldsboro. Mark, so much has happened over the past few weeks in construction downtown Goldsboro. Can you give us some updates on what has taken place? Well, we've poured a lot of concrete over the last couple of weeks. We finished up the sidewalks down in the third block. We've put the pavers on top of the sidewalks. The first block, of uh, the renovation on this side is northbound lane is complete. We're pretty much wrapping up the second block. You can see how we're doing it to keep places open. Right. We'll keep one area open where they can go in the door and then we pour another section so that they always have access into their building. And we're in the process now of, we've made all the water connections in the first block coming down, uh, going south from Mulberry Street. And we're in the process of wrapping up the water connections in the second block between uh, Walnut and Chestnut, and then all the underground utilities will be complete at that time. Uh, we've poured a lot of concrete in the medians to mm -hmm. get those ready to start putting in the plazas. Yeah, they're really starting to look like the roundabout. Right, and we've put a, uh, the inner ring on the roundabout at Chestnut. We've set the concrete or the granite bollards there. We're in the process of putting the hammerheads on the ends of the medians. We've got three of those installed. We've got another one going in today so that we can start shaping the roundabout, getting that ready to go. In the fountain area, we had to make some adjustments on some elevations. We've got all that corrected, so we're ready to start putting the, the granite stone at the base of the, uh, the outer perimeter. fountain. Well, uh -huh. the, the piece that the water will actually run off of to go to the drain. The, the rest of it's in, but we've got to put the granite in for the where the water comes down off the fountain and runs across to the drain and then recirculate. So we're ready to start putting that in. Uh, and where you've got, we're running electrical conduit down. We've still got to run it down about 10 feet out from the sidewalks here. And then we're ready to start putting the curbs in and, and putting the under paver concrete in and start putting pavers in these first two blocks. So that'll be rolling along here in the next two or three weeks also. So with that happening in the next two or three weeks, we're going to see a lot of visual, a lot of visual changes yep. that the community can see. Yep. Once again, you know, you've been working underground so very much trying to get everything up to par and taking place. And we can't see that. Right. So we know that takes a lot of time, but we're ready to see these changes, especially in the three roundabouts that we're going to have. Right. So you're saying that over the next three weeks, we'll be seeing that. Yeah, you'll completed. be seeing it because we'll be starting to work some traffic where they'll be actually going around in a circle as we're finishing up the roundabout. So uh, we hope to have that going on within the next two, three weeks also. Excellent. So we are between five and six months from completion date. Right. Do you think things are moving on on target, on schedule? Oh, yeah. How, yeah, even with all the rain and things that we have, how yeah. are things moving? Well, now that it's summer times here the rain can come because usually within a day it's gone and it's dried up we keep on moving and and uh yeah we're on schedule and we should have have it complete when it's ready excellent, ready excellent. for everybody to come in here and enjoy it uh, and we're ready for it and julie as expected the streetscape updates the renovations that have been taking place downtown are continuing to fuel the business growth of downtown yes, just they are. continuing can you give us an update on what changes have taken place since the last update, we have, I'm proud to say, a new store opening up today is the grand opening, Carolina Pine Country Store. We're standing in front of the store right now. It's 122 South Center Street. They relocated from uh, their spot on Royal Avenue. We're really excited to have them here. We also have um, Legacy Dance is opening up at 111 North James Street. They opened up actually last week. We have some new property ownership. Um, new investors bought the old Little Bank building, which I cannot say who they are as of right now, but right, right. Um, expect that news soon. Um, we also have the uh, local corporation headquarters of Zaxby's 
they opened up um, in the space behind Family Truth Door on John Street. So there's a lot of wow. a lot of things going on. So it, we still are getting people in our office on a weekly basis looking at investing in new property or relocating or opening a business in downtown. We love it. We expected it. We love it. You know, it's going to be a completely different look by the time this is completed in, in November. Well, can you tell me more? Some fantastic things have happened through the Merchants Association that's been formed downtown Goldsboro. Can you tell me a little more about some of the things that the merchants are doing for one another? Well, one of the things, you know, I, I sent an email to you and to Scott last week about the immeasurable benefits of the merchants forming together in this collective effort to help and support each other. And one of those things um, transpired uh, last week, Ruth, Glisson, Ruth and David Glisson of Uniquely Ours, um, to support the businesses right now being affected by the construction, did a pay it forward um, event where any dollars that were spent in these businesses on this block right here um, during that day or during the weekend to come in and get a discount at Uniquely Ours. So um, that's the kind of uh, camaraderie and, um, mm -hmm. and interest that the, the merchants have to support each other. Absolutely. And you know, that is so important. And I think the, the, the side of the street that has already gone through it understood what these merchants were getting ready to deal right. with. And they've really taken them and supported them and continued to give them daily, weekly encouragement. Just hang on, you know, keep doing everything you can do and business is going to continue to grow. It certainly has on the other side of the street. It has. And that's, that's, you can only get that kind of support and, and camaraderie in downtown with the, yeah. the merchants. You don't see that anywhere else in the city. So, Well, just looking forward, what do you see by Christmas of 2015? What do you see downtown looking like? Well, I don't know if anybody has seen the uh, famous, we use it quite often, the picture of the first phase of Streetscape taken at Lights Up um, by David Kane. It was a kind of aerial shot of the activity and the lights being on. And so you just see more of that throughout downtown. And, you know, we're going to be celebrating quite a bit between now and the completion of the yes, project with different, different events. We have um, our annual dinner, the DGDC's annual dinner is September 18th, it's a Friday. And for the attendees that come to that, they're going to have a preview party to the Gateway Transfer Center. Oh, nice. It will be completed, so they'll have their own private um, viewing of the building. And then the next day, September 19th, Saturday morning, we're going to have a public event, which is our um, ribbon cutting event um, for the Gateway Transit Center and that portion Excellent. of the project. And we will do the same um, for Center Street Streetscape. Um, at the Downtown Lights Up festivities in November. So. And we'll keep reminding everyone what those dates are and tell us some other things are happening about public art that'll be that'll be potentially in the other two roundabouts downtown. Sure, I think I've mentioned um, in the last update that we have a public art steering committee. Uh, it's just an ad hoc committee made up just for one project and that is to help select um, public art or sculpture pieces to be placed in the roundabout. And so we hired a consultant, the city hired a consultant to help us identify leasable pieces right. of art, um, which isn't very hard to, easy to find. I Explain why that's important. Well, it's, it's important because it's cost effective. Uh, it's much cheaper for the city to, to have and display public art downtown on a lease program. But really the main interest for us was we would like to be able to change it out right. periodically every year to add interest and continue that interest in downtown. And so that leasing enabled us that capacity. So this group of, um, of different people from, from the community, particularly the art community as well as the design com um, committee of the DGDC and the Historic District Commission members, um, they reviewed the, uh, the selection of um, pieces available uh, last week and we shortlisted that to 11 or 12 pieces and probably as of today at 5 p.m. we'll have those pieces available on the city and DGDC's website. Um, so, and we're just asking for the public's reaction to help us potentially give a recommendation to council as to which two pieces we ultimately two select. Pieces. Okay, so we're asking for feedback from the community yep. and then you'll take those two that have been selected to the city council and of course they'll make the final decision. They will make the final decision. Right, so we're right. We're really interested to see Oh this. yeah, it's going to be interesting. Yep. So if you all are interested, the best thing to do is to go to two websites goldsboronc.gov. You'll see information right there about public art. And then of course the downtown Goldsboro website is? downtowngoldsboro.com. Perfect. So. Wow. Lots of things lots of things are happening. Yeah. We're asking for the community to be a part of it. Give us their feedback. Tell us what you think because downtown's going to be gorgeous. It is. We're it's going to be thriving and we expected it. We hoped for it and now we're seeing it come to life. Well one, one nice thing is I'm in the midst right now of preparing the Tiger 7 grant application, which is due this Friday. 
Um, and I'm able to show the real impact, the right. real numbers, right. based on what we assumed would happen when we prepared the Tiger 5 grant application. And 37 new businesses have opened since the construction began on phase one of the streetscape project. So 37, that's amazing. Wow, and nine, nine new property owners as well. So things are moving and it's, it's really nice to be able to show that we were oh, yes. right in, in our assumptions on the economic impacts of this project. Well, and there's been so much research shown in other communities yeah. that once this project was completed in their communities, how it completely did a 360. Yeah. New life is downtown and yeah. we're expecting it and loving it and watching it happen every day. Right. Wow. Mark, thank you guys for what you do. Thank you for All staying right. on task. <laughs> no matter what happens, you guys are still on task, staying right ready for that final day. Yep. The ribbon cutting, I know you'll be standing there with a big smile on your face. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you'll be mighty proud. I think there'll be a lot of people smiling. That I day. think there will be too. <laughs> thank you all so much for being with us and letting us tell you what is happening in your community, downtown Goldsboro. Well, today we're at the Optimist Club on Walnut Street here in Goldsboro. And this fellow looks familiar because he is. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we're, we're here. We're here. And, and I don't know this gentleman over here. So, Bill Edgerton, if you would, please, sir, introduce us to Raymond Clark. This is our club president, Raymond Clark. Oh, so, Raymond, how are Raymond you, sir? Clark. Good, fine. Nice right. to meet you. Thank you for speaking with us this morning. Now, you're the president of the Optimist Club, right? Yes, sir. All right. Now, tell us, uh, what is the Optimist Club? What do you guys do? Uh, our motto is friend of youth. Uh, basically, uh, anything that benefits children in any way, if we can help, we're there. You know, uh, if you have something that you need doing and it benefits kids, we'll do anything we can to help you. Uh, we have so many programs going, it's yeah. hard, to, hard to know where to start. That, that's true, and we're gonna talk about a couple of those right now, or in just a moment we will, but uh, the Optimist Bill is, is an old and honored organization and has been here in Goldsboro a number of years as well. Tell us about that. Our club here was started in 1957 and Edmund Farfor, if you were in sports growing up in Goldsboro, mm -hmm. you know him. Mm -hmm. Edmund was a charter member. He's still an active member in our right? club. Wow. So, so that was almost 50 years ago, 1957. Well, I think it was 58 years ago. Okay. Well, okay, that's I, right. My that's math right. is better well, than yes, yours. It is. <laughs> right now it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, give us an idea of some of the projects that uh, you work on. Uh, and we'll get to the computers at another time. But right yeah. now I want to talk about the projects you have for youth. Right now, uh, right now uh, our biggest projects coming up would be our Optimus uh, Kids Day, Kids Fun Day downtown. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to have free food, free games. Uh, several organizations that deal with children around the county will be there setting up booths with uh, information and handouts. Uh, it should be a good time. So if you have kids, grandkids, it would be a great time to come out. And if you're just sitting around home with nothing to do, we can always use volunteers. But you don't have to have kids. You can actually no. come out and, and just enjoy the day. Right. Yes, yeah. you can. Okay. But uh, everybody's I, invited. You know, I found out yes uh, last year that I'm too tall for the bouncy house. Other than no. that, everything's open <laughs> no, to everyone. No, are you really? Yeah, what a yeah, shame. Too what a, bad. Well, you okay? Take your shoes off. <laughs> no, never mind. Anyway, and I guess you are too, aren't you? Uh, yes. Too tall for the bounce yeah, house. And, okay. And too old. And, <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. Uh, now, uh, okay, so we have Kids Fun Day coming up, and now we also have several others. We have, uh, you also work with children who uh, are afflicted with a cancer. Uh, you have several of those you're working with. Uh, yes, uh, for years uh, we uh, raised money. We have a program called Kisses for Cancer right. where we stand out at Walmart and we offer Hershey's Kisses uh, for donations. You know, uh, sometimes it's a good thing, but you got to be careful who you a offer a kiss to. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> you really yeah. do. Make but sure they understand what you're talking You have to explain about. what you're talking about yes, first. Yes, you do. All right. Uh, but, uh, we used to send the money up to uh, the national organization, and uh, a few years ago we got together and we decided that it might be more beneficial to find a local child who is going through therapy and raise the money and donate it to their family. Oh, okay. You know? So you, uh, you, you're you actually uh, helping closer to home here? Yes, sir. All right. Yeah. Bill, what about uh, some of the other programs? Well, we do lots of things. We do some sport sported events. Uh, we like tomorrow, in fact, for which... Won't Which be. is after the yeah, fact. Yeah, be after yeah. this, but right. at the Born Learning, the kids event at Herman Park. Right. 
we'll give out about 600 bags of free popcorn at that event. Popcorn? So, yeah, I like popcorn. Oh, boy, I do, too. My wife says I give away a bag and eat a bag, and that's only the first two or three bags. So, so <laughs> well, after that, I know, just give them away. You just give them away. <laughs> you know, I've heard that about you. Yeah. I have. <laughs> didn't, uh, didn't we, Bria? Yes, we heard that we about do, you already. We, we do a lot of projects. On the 20th of June, we'll be doing a bicycle rodeo, a safety event. Okay. At the base exchange. Right. And uh, just like Raymond said, anything dealing with the kids, we want to be involved if we, if there's something we can do. And speaking of the base, you also work closely with the children on base as well, do you know? We, we try to, we do as much as we can yeah. with the base. Yeah. All right, very we, good. We like the base. We're glad it's yes, here. We, we love Seymour Johnson Air Force. <laughs> right. All right. Raymond, are you from right. Goldsboro? Uh, no, sir. Uh, originally, I'm from a little town called Pembroke. You might have heard of it. <laughs> Just outside, or south of Fayetteville, I believe. Yes, sir. Southeast yeah. of Fayetteville. Yes, sir. But uh, I've uh, actually been here 17 years, so uh, okay. another year, and I could probably call myself a native. Indeed, you can. That's right. I think eight, anywhere. 18 well, years, I think, is. Yeah. 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 But uh, we like it. We moved here, and we just fell in love with the place. That's right. That's yeah. great. He can call himself a native anyway. Oh, okay. He's Native American. Oh, okay. <laughs> Excellent. Well, Very good. All right. One, one of the th we have entertainment at a kids' fun day as well yeah. as free food. Right. The fire department sprinkler and just lots and lots of good stuff. But we had the, some of the entertainment. Raymond and his family does the the Indian dances. In, Do you really? In the uh, yes, sir. I've uh, been dancing since I was old enough to walk. Really? You know, and uh, all my kids have regalias. They dance. You know, it's it's tough trying to balance the two. I'm, you know, I'm I want sure. them to be proud of where they came from, but I want them to be proud just to be American. Excellent. You know? Excellent. That's that's great, Raymond. Well, I know that's going to be quite uh, quite entertaining uh, yeah. as well. I, do you uh, do you do this for events besides the? Uh, yes, sir. We have uh, powwows uh, oh, yeah. regularly. You know, we're people from all the tribes around. We gather up, we dance, we have a good time. It's more a social event than anything else. Now that's really exciting. Yeah, that's wonderful. It is. It that's is. great. So uh, tell me more about the Kids Fun Days coming up uh, Saturday. Saturday, June the thirteenth. June thirteenth. Be from ten until two. Uh, like I said, lots of food, ice cream, Krispy Kreme donuts, Boy. pizza, hot mm. dogs, mm. cookies, mm. just we, everything we, you could ever want. We squeeze all the calories out, so don't worry about that. You oh. don't come on out. Calories are squeezed <laughs> out. <laughs> right. Uh, but it's just it's a fun day celebrating the end of school, really. Yeah. Uh, okay. And their accomplishments during the previous year. Okay, and it starts at 10 o'clock, right, Raymond? Yes, sir, and it, everything is free. It is all free? Everything yep. is free. And this is at Cornerstone Commons? Yes, sir. Corner of Chestnut and South Center Street? Yes, right. sir, we right. will be there. Now, and there's a little bit of a construction going on adjacent to it, but you can still get to it easily, can't you? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir, it should not be a problem. All right. But uh, <laughs> come on out. You'll get to see me with feathers and bells on. <laughs> <laughs> Feathers and bells, but you don't fly. No, sir. Okay, all right. And we'll also have the Zumba lady, Gambella. You know, I don't remember her name. Okay. You well, don't she, know. The Zumba lady. Yeah, you know what Zumba is? Yeah, I know. It's an exercise uh, kind yeah. of a sort of a thing, right? I didn't know what Zumba was until oh, really? I saw her recently. Well, I read a dictionary yeah. once and made yeah. it all the way to Z, so yeah. there you go. And Sweeney's Karate Kids will be out really? there. Really? So. Well, but between Raymond and his family, and the Karate Kids, and the and the Zumba, 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 G give me a demonstration. Come I'm, on. I'm not going to no. do that. <laughs> okay. No. All right. Anyway, there's a lot going on Saturday, June thirteenth at Corn Cornerstone Commons in Goldsboro. Right. Raymond, thank you for speaking oh, with us. Thank you for being and here. Talk to you again soon, Bill. Always a pleasure, sir. Thank you. Appreciate Take care. It. Best to Jan, please. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm Wayne Alley from the Optimist Club on South John's. Where are we? Two o five East Walnut Street. That's what I meant to say. Two o five East Walnut Street, downtown Goldsboro. Thank you. We're back on Wayne Goldsboro Television. Thank you for being with us. Mm -hmm. What you got? Well, I got a couple of birthdays. Jay Fox's birthday. Two. That's the Caribbean. The, that's the it. Yeah, thing. yeah. <laughs> uh, Michaela Conlon. If you ever watch oh, the yeah. show Bones, yeah, Barbara knows who she is. Bones. She's one of the main characters on Bones. Very pretty girl. She's 37 today. Yeah, yesterday, rather. Angela. Angela. That's exactly right. 
Uh, Natalie Portman is 34 yesterday, and uh, Mae Whitman, who is Anne on Arrested Development, and voices, uh, she's done, she does voiceovers for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and she does voiceovers for Family Guy and all that. Now today, a fellow by the name of Jurgen Prochnow is, uh, was Sergey on 24. You'd know him if you saw him. He's 74 today. Kevin Corcoran was a guy I grew up with. I didn't grow up with him, but I mean, I grew up watching him on TV. He's been acting since he was four years old. He's 66 today. He was a Disney Goodness. kid. He was in Old Yeller. He was in Shaggy Dog, and he was in Pollyanna. He's now a big-time assistant director on Simon & Simon, Baywatch, oh. Scarecrow and Mrs. King, Quantum Leap, Murder, She Wrote, and a lot more Fantastic. current shows yeah. as well. Tim, uh, he's 66. Tim Van Patten is 56 today, touched by an angel, Sopranos, and all that. Uh, birthday for uh, Jean Triplehorn. Now, if you saw her, you'd know her. She is Alex in Criminal Minds. Oh, okay. okay? yeah. Okay. She's very, uh, very talented young lady. Fifty-two today, and Kate Flannery is Meredith Palmer in The Office. She's fifty-one today. Birthdays. Happy birthday. Happy, happy everything. Happy there birthday. You go. Oh yeah. yeah. All right. Let's All right. see. Okay. Reminding everyone that on June twentieth and twenty-first. We will be having a Goldsboro Criterium going on in here. No, a Criterium. <laughs> and that is actually remember the when we have the uh, the group come in and they're uh, they're cyclists, and it's a part of the mm. Mountain to Sea Trail, and they come in mm. and they cycle on bicycles. Oh, cycle. Oh, okay. It's like, I thought you meant circleists. No, That's cyclists. entirely different. <laughs> <laughs> and they ride their bikes. And last year they spent the night in Herman Park. Yeah. And there's I a group of that, hundreds yeah. and hundreds of them. Yeah. But they're actually riding and they'll stop in different little cities all across uh, North oh, Carolina. Yeah, I remember those guys. Yeah. yeah so that, that'll be, that's great. So when you see lots of uh, bicycles in our community on mm -hmm. June 20th and 21st, that's <clears> what that's all about. That's right. These are not circleists. No, cyclists. Cyclists, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> yes, that's what they are. That's exactly okay. right. Okay. Well, have right. you uh, gone downtown recently and visited any of these new businesses that have opened? I, you Isn't know it what? amazing? Every time you turn around, there's a new one opening. There we is. Have, downtown Goldsboro is growing so quickly. It is. Well, I just went to a, a grand opening recently, like a week or so ago, of a new business that has it's been open for a few years, but it was uh, on Royal Avenue and it's moved to downtown. Oh. And it's called Carolina Pine yes. Country Store. It is the cutest little store. It's, it reminds me of a general store, like you'd see mm -hmm. in the mountains or somewhere. Yeah. But um, she has the most amazing and unique things in there. She has chocolates. Uh, I mean, when I say chocolates, I mean unique chocolates. One of the chocolates had bacon in it. Bacon? <laughs> but it, it was unusual. She had... I bet that would be good. She had coffees, unique coffees. She had uh, all kinds of soaps in there. Um, then she had, the whole back was different. She had local eggs in there for sale. Yeah. Eggs. Your local eggs in there. Local for sale. eggs. Yeah. None it, of these imported eggs from I mean, Mexico or Russia. From clothing or China. to eggs. You, you just never, it's like a general store. It's, like it's a, a little store. bit of everything. How about and it's that? right downtown Goldsboro. How yeah. Who would have Carolina thought? Pines Country Store. Give them a try. And what, do, do we know where that is? No. I do not remember the address. <laughs> downtown <laughs> is only so big, so it's it can't on, be. Of even. course, it's on Center Street and it's down by the Ice Storm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So that would be between Walnut and Chestnut. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. Check them out. Call me Rand McNally. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's several new businesses that have opened, honestly, in the last couple of weeks. And okay. then we've been given updates that we've got some new restaurants opening in July and oh, August yeah. downtown. Oh, yeah. So it's just amazing what continues to happen and the uh, growth that, that Streetscape has really sparked. It has. Mm -hmm. It has. And it's going to be. And what, what's the date on that again? November, November of 2015. I mean, yeah, 2015. Yeah. This November. This November, it'll be be completely finished. Well, That's the deadline. Hurry. Yeah, they, they, they better hurry. Well, <laughs> remember, <coughs> excuse me, a lot of underground work. It, that's very time consuming. Oh yeah, yeah. So the work that has to take place on, on the above ground mm. happens a lot quicker than what happens underground. Yeah, uh, and that's I, what I've always said. And I, I just interviewed, you know, a couple weeks ago. Um, Mark Beach, which is the project mm -hmm. manager for Center Street from TA Loving Company, construction company. And I, I ask him every time I interview him, which is every two weeks, to get an update. Are we on schedule? Absolutely. We're on schedule. We will be finished. I think the actual date is like November 15th. It has to be complete. Wow. And it now, will be. And, and that's, that's uh, Center Street. What about the, the uh, train station? That will be actually finished in August. Really? Yeah, that one is a little earlier. Uh -huh. oh boy. It's, some, it's that, a little bit smaller exciting. project. And, They'll be finished mm -hmm, in August, and we'll have a grand opening in August for that one. Grand. And then another grand opening for Center Street. That is exciting. I yes, can't it wait. Is. Oh, boy, yes, here we is. go. Look, we'll be back in here tomorrow. We're going to talk more about this, whatever we talk about today.
we'll be talking about it again and other stuff as well, okay? So join us again tomorrow for whatever this is. At this time of day, we'll be right here. Until then, for Wayne Goldsboro Television, I'm Wayne Alley. And I'm Kim Best, and this is what's happening in your community.